Hey, uh, episode Troll left in a day in here. Uh, this show is a continuous story that the NPCs are attempting to stray from. So, if you are uh, skipping episodes, uh, uh, there may be some details that are quite confusing. Uh, management uh, uh, recommends you listen to the show in order so things don't get lost or uh, uh, out of context. But if you thrive on chaos, you do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you're driving, have your imps set the scry to uh, D&D. Thanks for summoning the show for your entertainment. <laughs> Get more Vore at four. We will see you there. This has been another installment of Voices of the Royal Emissary. Thanks for listening to Arayolos 8 News. Have a great day, or not. So what do you think about all the tabaxis being killed for having rabbits? Remember, I think the tabaxis that were behind us in line, they must have considered to be rabid because, I mean, they were adventuring. True. Uh, the one of the, I think rabid just means they don't want to listen. All living lycanthropes. Adventurer, please stand back. Oh, Your okay. adventurer waits. Doors opening. Do not Finally. proceed until the doors have fully opened. Remember, adventurer, you are on your own. Oh, yeah, Once here's you here's another knife adventure. bomb. Did I give that you one? Sure you I have forgot. Your life token. Thank you. Do you want a ball, Kreef? <laughs> you, have to, you can't put it in your mouth, though. It might go off. Claimer, we are adults and use adult language, which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire. Areola's vacation. Follow along as the NPCs are on a savage world vacation in the kingdom next door. They finally get to taste what it's like to be a PC in the module of the Necromantic Empire. Will they try to enjoy their vacation? Are they ready for what awaits them? Or will they do their vaguely defined job of spying on the kingdom of morally questionable wizards? I rush right in. Door opens. Me in first. So... He runs in in first. You see this blinding light, and the humidity just hits you. Kreef vanishes because you're all blinded by the by the light. So um, as your eyes adjust, you start to see that the walls go on for uh, quite a, quite a distance. Ha- are heavily carved with and painted with a uh, very uh, bright colored uh, figures, but they all seem to be the same, almost as if it's a statue of a sh- of a soldier standing up, and it's on both left and right. Just follows on down. Huh. As you look up, it just goes up into, a, like, mist. But it's really bright. Like, blinding bright. It's hot. And, and it's humid. Okay. Sweltering. It's sweltering. Is the wall moist? Doing? I'm gonna yes. lick it. It's almost dripping with, with oh, humidity. Oh, I'm gonna lick it. Okay. What the rock is carved out of is rather rough, and you can feel that through the paint, which is very thin, but still vibrant on it. The soldiers seem to have a very feathery headdress, uh, really prominent large noses, uh, going down to very stylized figures. You see them carrying these weird, uh, they look like clubs, but they have segments to them that go up the side. There doesn't seem to be much on the chest, but they do have some loincloth-like like things on their legs. And uh, yeah, they're all pretty much the same. Wow. Neat. I kind of like these statues. Yeah, roll your uh, vigor. Nine. No, no, no words out of you. What is everybody else doing? You know, Kreef ran off. I am going to kind of just cautiously walk through with uh, the bluter knife ready. Mm-hmm. Still checking out the the sculpt, the, the, all the different. As you're walking, you almost you almost get to feel down. like you're walking in the in line with them as they're marching. Is what it really feels like. Very, very interesting uh, trick of the eyes as you do this. So is this like? Are these like? Ancient Ariolan statues? Like, is this what ancient Ariolans would have looked like? I think they'd be a little sour here. Maybe they're... Uh, look at the ears. Are they pointy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Maybe elfish-like? I guess so, because elves seem to be the dominant people around here. Dominant. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Call me daddy. Daddy. Thank you. Uh. Uh, the After 128 feet, you come up to a door. The door looks like it was... Forced open and then reclosed. I bet Kreef has been through here at least once. Mm-hmm. Well, if it was trapped, it's not now. And I open the door. All right, you open the door, and uh, eight feet in, you see uh, two pillars to the left and right. They're both uh, eight feet uh, wide, 
Uh, then it also continues going uh, for 24 feet to left and right and forward. It's lit enough to where uh, 24 feet past that you can see two more of the 8 foot by 8 foot pillars and past that you can see a very tall statue, brightly colored, very similar to the stuff you were seeing behind you. And you think you see a rabbit bouncing around. A rabbit? Ah, uh, look, it's a bunny. Yep. Wait, we were just talking about There's rabbit trees. rabbits. What would the coincidences? Yeah. Oh, All right. Um, I guess I'm going to just take a peek around the room before interacting with said rabbit. Which, di- which direction are you going to go? Uh, I will look at, towards the left side. Okay, uh, like I said, it goes twenty four. Yeah, it was twenty four feet, and then it's a wall leading to the north. Uh, same thing on the right. Okay. Which way do you go? I feel like we should probably take care of the rabbit situation first. Like, boy, real strange coincidence. Middle of a dungeon, and there's a bunny. Hey, bunny, can I talk? You don't get any response. I don't try to eat it. Okay, you've got to catch it first. Okay, I'm I'm going after the rabbit then. 14 and on my D6 of 4. Roll your vigor. My vigor. Yep. I've got um, a 6 on my regular roll and then a, a 4. No, sorry, a 5. A 6 and a 5. You pass out. Oh, Wait, did, I, did I catch it before I passed out? Right as you got on top of it. Can't tell exactly what happened, but for some reason you just started feeling really weird and you passed out. Well, I'm just going to go here and start dragging Cookie back. Don't need to be eaten by a rabbit. The rabbit ran away. That's fine. All right. Ray, are you doing anything? I want to investigate the area that she passed out around. Okay, you. uh, she passed out uh, fairly close to the statue. Okay, yeah, I take Uh, a look at the statue. All right, the statue, again, as I described... uh, Almost the same as the figures in the hallway. Very colorful. It's holding a sword up that's, or sorry, a club that looks like it's segmented. Um, past that, you get uh, another, uh, uh, like eight feet past that, you have two more uh, pillars that are eight foot by eight foot. There's an eight foot path in between them. And past that, you see another two eight foot pillars with eight foot behind them. And past that, and another eight foot, you see a throne and a rabbit and what looks like a ball of hair. A big, big ball of hair. Oh. Oh, I bet that's Kreath. Kreath? Cookie, wake up. Is it Kreath? Well, do you approach it? Yes. Yeah, it's Kreath. Oh. Hi, Kreath. He's asleep. Ah. I pee on him to wake him up. It doesn't do anything. Oh, no. It didn't heal him in there or anything. Okay. No. He's not injured. He's just yeah. passed out. Okay. Um, I have a feeling it has to do with the rabbit. Yeah. And I think it's any ill action that is good on towards the rabbit's going to make somebody fall asleep, right? Uh, side note, as you were passing the uh, statue, uh, both to the left and right of that statue by 24 feet are two doors separated by eight feet. Um, so ba- you have basically two doors that are slightly to the south, but on the east and west wall, and two doors that are slightly north, but on the east and west wall. Um, excuse me, rabbit? No response. No response. Okay, you're just a normal, weird, magic rabbit. That's fine. That is just fine. I'm not going to get close to this. I'm going to throw a knife bomb at the rabbit. Oh, no. What if I do a mind link with it? Well, I don't know. Can you do a mind link before I throw this? How about just leave it alone? Maybe? I have a feeling it has to be defeated or they don't wake up. Uh, Is that your choice? I don't know. Are you sure it's sure that's the case? Ah, you know they're asleep. Maybe it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other passages. Oh, sword, show me the ray to all the treasure and the goodies. Oh, let's see. In this one, you've got a little bit of treasure to the north, west, and a small treasure to the south, east. Your biggest item is just slightly southwestish to it. Um, possibly the, uh, Southwest Door? Ah. All right, going to Southwest Door. All right, you, uh, leave the two bodies there? 
I mean, I'm going to drag them at least back to the main corridor where we, like, where the splits begin. Okay. But yeah, not necessarily just leaving them in that room. Okay. Uh, you leave them there, you go back, you open the door. Rabbit is staying on the north part of the wall, or the room. Uh, you open the door, and it's a 16-foot deep hallway that, eight feet in, it suddenly turns uh, south. And All right. just as lit as everything else. Going south. All right, you enter through that, uh, you find another door, and it's just basically an 8-foot, eight 8-foot eight area, open it up to a 24 by 24 foot room. There's a sword in there. Ooh. This uh, showing up on my radar at all there, Bluter Knife? What we got? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, not bad. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, looks tasty, too. <laughs> it's, it's magical. Uh-huh. Uh, you might be able to take... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> you left all your stuff at Main Stop. You didn't even get a quote for it. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. It's all right. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Decent sword. Uh, it does some sort of magic. It smells of charcoal. Um, burnt stuff. It's probably a flame sword, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah? Okay. Mmm, be tasty. So I wonder what the, uh, I wonder what the trick is about this. Do you just walk up and take it? Do you have to fight the statue? Uh, I don't detect traps. That's not my job. Fair. All right. Where's the rogue? Do we have a rogue? Our closest roguey thing is me and Grey Matter. Between the two of us, we could probably make a half a rogue. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Where's the rogue? Oh, wait. She's asleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and try to notice anything about it. Okay, yeah. If there's anything I can do to, you know, just... Do I just take it out, or is it trapped? Look, 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 what do you see, what do you see? Oh, no. I only got five altogether. Uh, You discover nothing out of the ordinary. Just throw Raymond out there. (laughs) I'm just going to go ahead and reach up and grab the other sword. Volunteer? Okay. okay. Or even better, Uh I'm going to touch that sword with the bluter knife and just let the bluter knife eat the sword out of the pedestal. <laughs> In a very metallic weird way, you see the sword just kind of just being chewed up, and suddenly the, uh, the bluter knife develops a flame. Ooh. I do fire damage now. <laughs> Good enough. All right. Mm-hmm. On to the next one. Okay. Uh, what about the bodies? I mean, Cookie and all them. Uh, for a second, I'm going to go ahead and talk with Cookie. Yeah. You ran towards the, the rabbit, and you felt this weird mist hit you, and it you just felt like you just took 15 shots of tequila, and next thing you know, you're running in a field, and everything is all happy, and the rabbit's <sighs> playing with you, and it's all great. What are you doing? Well, I'm in the field, right? Yeah. And the rabbit's still there? Uh-huh. Dancing with you. Like, you're all having I'm, a good time. I want to try to eat the rabbit again. Every time you strike out at the rabbit, it's always just out of reach. Oh, by the way, the sky is, like, rainbow-colored, too, and it, it, these little weird candies keep falling out of the sky, and you, you get this, this weird dish in front of you that's filled with this caramely pudding of some sort and weird music in the background it's very i mean you probably feel like i almost took some acid or something pudding i want to sniff the pudding and if it see if it tastes like raw meat it does not it it, you get pretty much a a diabetes and one lick sort of sugar taste out of it disgusting yeah um is there anything else i can do violence towards uh, if the rabbit is out of bounds. And for some reason, every time you try to be violent in any way, you seem to stumble and trip over yourself. This fucking sucks. Yeah. But you're happy about it. You're happy that it sucks. Oh, <laughs> this fucking sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go over to to Creef to for a bit. Same scenario. The, the rabbit's dancing around and playing with you, and there's this big bowl of various desserts and food. There seems to be... Stuff falling out of the sky, and everything's all colorful and wonderful. And what kind of good. stuff? Well, you have these w- weird, hard candies coming out of the sky. Yeah. 
I just dance with rabbit. Okay. You dance with the rabbit. Everything's good. <laughs> Music is wonderful. And All right. That's where you two are at at the moment. Back to uh, Grey Matter and Ramen and Hogan. <laughs> Yeah, no, they're still asleep. I can't wake them up. Yeah, wonder how long they're up for. I don't know. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't smell any gases or anything, so. No. All right, well, we'll go down this other. We'll head towards the. Let's see, there was a little bit. Raymond's up there. Yeah, Raymond's mad. Oh, do you not want us to leave without them being awake? Here, I'll just le- I'll just leave you with Daddy, okay? Just hey, uh, are we allowed to cheat and use your scry to get info or anything? Have we tried that yet? No. Um, pull out scry. Yeah, no, we haven't tried that yet. Okay, the intro. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Hey, um, so quick question. Uh-huh. We're in a room. Mm-hmm. The only thing in this room is a rabbit, right? Yeah, uh-huh. But it's in a dungeon. Uh-huh. Kreeth ran in here, and he's asleep. Cookie tried to chase the rabbit. Uh-huh. She's uh-huh. asleep. Uh, faces towards the rabbit. Faces, faces, faces. Uh, there, there. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's cross-reference. What, what do you see over there? Oh. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. It translates to 400 rabbits. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they've been... They've been made drunk, and they could be out for uh, uh, up to uh, 16 hours. Yeah. How'd they get drunk? Off a of rabbit? Uh, the, the 400 have the ability to uh, intoxicate attackers as a defense. <gasps> that is awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah. I want to catch the rabbit. Yeah. Do you want to be in your, your little place uh, for more than eight hours? You want to find out what happens there? That's okay. Hang on. I think... I think we got this. I reach into Cookie's knapsack and I pull out like random like food items and stuff like that. Okay. Never mind. I don't have to take it from Cookie's knapsack. We have the cornucopia. So I just I open up a bag. I put a stick in it, and I just make a trail of vegetables all the way over to the bag. Okay. Put a few in there, and I just go sit behind Creeth and wait and watch. Now we're on a time thing here, but we're really only interested in treasure and final bosses, so I don't have to worry about much. Okay. So you, uh, we wait out use, the rabbit. So you use one of the bags of bags, the yes. sack of sacks, the scrotal sack one of sacks. One of the one of the okay. sacks of sacks. And uh, the rabbits, uh, definitely small enough to fit in. Uh, you lead up. You, mm-hmm. you see one rabbit come out. See another rabbit come out. Oh my God! There's four. Two more. Four hundred. Four more. Eight more. All in the same room. More. Yeah. Just start flooding in that you're not even sure where they're coming out of it next thing you know you have at least 400 rabbits all looking at the food and going to the bag on hmm, what are they gonna do that and since none of you are actually trying to physically attack them at the moment they're obviously not doing anything that's fine mm-hmm. so now i'm gonna walk to the other side of the room just taking my time not even mm-hmm. looking at them i'm staring at the wall okay and then i'm gonna slowly start walking backwards towards them okay maybe hop up and down a couple times you know as you hop up and down, they kind of like start scattering and skittering. Next thing you know, the, they seem to vanish into the room. Ah, I was hoping they'd all run into the bag. All right. Uh, we'll try that again. Just a big... How big a sack can you pull from that sack of sacks, Gray? You can pull out a whole bunch, but they're all going to be 22,000 milliliters or something like that, if I remember correctly. Oh, so never mind. Yeah, yeah. it's too small anyway. It'll, it'll hold one hair at a time. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, hairy sacks. Yes. Full of hairy sacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, did the DM really write that joke? He ha. did. He did. Yeah. Oh, God. I just got it on my scry. Yep. There it is. See, you're upsetting, Ramon. Look I know. Look what you did. You've upset it. Right. Look, look. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> look, all we have to do is technically defeat the dungeon, right? Correct. Yeah. So... Yeah, let's actually work on this one. I feel like we should at least try to catch them. Because then we can release them into the wild of town. And that can cause some fun, fun situations. Okay, um, why do you want a rabbit? Because apparently these rabbits make you very sleepy if you try to do anything to them, right? Okay, yeah, that's what the 
death, yeah? Yep, as long as you're not violent, everything uh-huh. is fine. Right. Don't be aggressive. So how do you catch it non-aggressively? Passive-aggressive trap. So okay. I'm going to take my other bag, which uh-huh. is just the bag I put all my random loot in, uh-huh. and I'm just going to stick it here. And we might not get all 400, but we could probably get a bunch. Okay. Uh-huh. And if the others follow us, that's great, because anything that tries to attack us falls asleep. Sure, why not? Huh? I mean, hey, why not, right? It's worth a try. Okay. Um, so, big bag, try the stick game again. Now it's much okay. bigger, much okay. more spacious. Now, how, how, how's the stick set up to trap the thing? Just on a sack. rope in my hand. Cinch sack, okay. Yep, uh-huh. cinch sack, rope in hand. All right. Uh, yeah, none of, none of you can use the squeak toy. That doesn't work. Nope. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, roll your trapping ability then. Let's go for that. Then let's make it simple. Yeah. Yeah, do you just want me to make that like a common knowledge or? Uh, you, you're a ranger, right? Don't you have anything that would work trap wise? Survival? Uh, uh, oh, remember, this is a different game. Yeah. Conversion, yeah. Yeah, so find the equivalent. Go. Okay, fine. <laughs> Give me a second. That's why I'm thinking. 1,000. Time's up. Go. Let's try fighting. You don't always have to use your weapon to fight. Sometimes you use your brain. How about just intelligence? Do you have something like that? Smarts. You have your smarts? Yeah. Your smarts. Got a full-on D4 for my smarts. Oh, wow. Well. I mean, if this doesn't work, I'm just going to drag the other two around with us until we get okay. out of the dungeon. Give it a try. Uh, only one success. Okay. Uh, Five altogether. I'll sit up, yeah? I will allow you one hair. You know what? Good enough. Okay. Zip, Benny. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, what he said. Benny. Yeah, I should use the Benny. Okay. Uh, since Bennies are relatively expensive, I will give you three more hairs. That's fair. Okay. All right. You have your hairs. The The rest aren't seeming to come out anymore after you've done your trick a few times. You yeah, have two fine. rather large bodies to drag around with you. What are you doing? Uh, start dragging the large bodies around with me in the direction that the bluter knife said the big treasure was at. Uh, let's see. Yeah, northwest. So, uh, um, I guess you could take the door to the west and northish there. I don't know where it goes. I mean, yeah, that's probably their best bet. Okay. Unless we can find another bathroom so we can talk to like talk to E again. E. Uh, okay. I don't know. Let's try that. Then we'll go through that. Yeah. You open the door, and it's a hallway about 24 feet deep, really brightly lit. Uh, but this time, instead of being warriors, there seem to be people holding a, a, a saucer or a bowl. Um, you get that same effect. As, as you go into the, to, to the hallway, it's at the 24-foot mark. It turns south, uh, goes about 8 feet, and then turns west again for another 24 feet and opens up into a large room. In that room... Uh, to the north, there is an altar, and on the south wall, there is two thrones. Uh, I'm not doing the throne thing again. That was fun, but no. Yeah. I think we should put Raymond on the throne. I don't know. Would that work? I mean, you try. I mean, it's not us, so this is... But we also have two sleeping giants here we could throw on the thrones also. Right. Uh-huh. Oh. But if something was going to attack it, I think a baby would be easier. What are you going to do about the, the sleeping ones? Are you going to throw it on the throne or not? Yeah, I'm going to start propping them up on the thrones. Who do you put on the throne first? Oh, Kreeth, obviously. All right. Kreeth falls through it and gets impaled and dies. Oh. A few moments later, you feel a token being ticked off, and he materializes next to you. Awake. <laughs> hey, Kreeth, how you doing? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Should Sorry, we you were too? asleep. I mean, hey, if it wakes him up, okay. kick Cookie down the pit. Same thing happens. Cookie falls in, gets impaled, dies. A few seconds later, it material, materializes next to you. Cookie, you're looking down the pit. You see your own body. Cookie, I know you're hungry. Don't jump down yeah. there and eat your corpse. You know, eat it. I, I, oh. I want to eat it. I know you do. I want to eat it so bad. The bluter knife levitates the body and places it right in front of you. That's a new trick. Hi, hang on. Wait a minute. I've levitated before. I started eviscerating yeah. myself. <laughs> Don't you remember? In the cells, you fell off, you burned the mud. Yeah, I, I remember yeah, now, yeah. yeah. I wasted my one time to do it today, so... <sighs> <sighs> 
I, 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 I can flame now. I'm a flaming sword now, Daddy. Flame. Flame. I'm a flamer. <laughs> flame on. I'm digging into my own guts, and there's blood coming in a pool around me, and it's all over my face and my hooves. I have never seen you so happy. As you're eating your own body away, you get a really high level of alcohol in there. You can you can almost get a buzz off of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is good stuff. <laughs> the blood is so thick, it looks like jello shots. <laughs> you want some? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, God. That is strong. Whew. Maybe you should give some to Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here, Ram, and have some alcohol. Hey, Cookie, can I try a bite? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sweet, thank you. All right, uh, <laughs> Gray, mm. roll, roll your uh, vigor. Three. Okay, um, <laughs> you're at minus four for the next couple of hours. You're not uh, you're not out, but you're definitely drunk. Worth it. <laughs> I've always wanted to try horse. <laughs> so how do I taste? Really good. Kind of like Malibu rum. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> we need some pineapple in here. <gasps> oh, you're right. I have lemon. Not the same, but I you mean, know. That's close to a pineapple. Yeah. Still pretty acidic. Squirt a lemon over her, her body. <laughs> <laughs> do you have lemon? Yeah, I got these lemon cookies. I just crumble it up and lemon throw cookie. it on. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, it's, it's close. Okay. You just dump fruit out from the cornucopia until there's a lemon. You hear a weird flap. Like... That's never good. I look around. I th Yeah, I'm looking for the source of the sound. Okay. Again, this room is extremely well, well lit. And you see what looks like a very large disoriented bat flying around. Excuse me, are you drunk? It immediately turns and starts flying straight towards you. Oh, shit. Okay, sort up. <laughs> Would you like to be throw out a, a fork, uh, like, hold a fork, <laughs> fork full of cookie meat? You are definitely drunk. Okay, everybody, uh, roll your standard initiative at this. Two. All right. Five. I'm 11. 11. Uh, well, you go first then, Cookie. You see a rather large bat heading straight to Hogan. I'd like to magic missile it with my magic horn. All right. Um, go ahead and roll a... Uh, let's go ahead and make that a D6. Go ahead. Since this is a different okay. system. Is that Wah. one D6 or like D6 plus this? Just roll a single D6. Okay. Five. All right. It takes some damage and uh, it, it definitely is shaken as it uh, continues to very poorly fly towards Kreef. Sorry, Hogan. It's flying towards you, Hogan. It's wavering. Mm, um, how far away is it? Uh, at this point, it's closed. It's going to be 16 feet from you, and it's getting closer. This is like slow motion time. Oh. Well, now I can test my theory. I hold a rabbit out in front of me. Okay. Just so it faces the bat. Who's a sweet bunny? I love you. You're a sweet bunny. Now do a favor for me. Make the bat go nighty night. Please go night night. Okay, it's too confused why it's being held. Nothing happens. Oh shit. Okay. Right. Well, put it back in the bag. And I think that takes us to five. I jump and try to attack the bat. Okay. Uh, Grab it out of the air and see if it squeaks. All right. Eight. Hit. So go ahead and uh. Yeah, toughness of five. Four. You rolled a four. Total. Yeah. All right, you, you make contact, but you don't do any damage. <laughs> uh, that leaves me, the bat. <laughs> Come uh, get some. All right, uh, a six. Does, what's your parry? Six. All oh, right. Sorry, s parry is seven. Seven. Nothing happens. It, it, it misses you because it's too disoriented. Okay. And that's... Did, Ra did anybody roll for Raman to attack? Or is Raman just going to cry? I think Raman's just mm -hmm. losing it. Okay. Raman's too scared. It's a bat. Ah, which leaves us with gray matter. Well, it's not a probably good idea, but I'm just going to throw out my needle, needle bomb. All right. Throw your needle bomb. Uh, ten. All right. Who has a toughness of uh, ten or less? 
I do. <laughs> Cookie, what's your toughness? Seven. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. And Hogan is eighteen. Yeah, everybody there, roll your uh, vigor against a ten. I got a five. Seven. The bat is knocked out of the air, and it's double, so they actually take one wound. The bat is on the ground, and it's your turn to attack. It's down on the ground. Yep. I'm going to grab it like a rag doll, or attempt to, okay. and shake it. Roll your fighting. And this is how Kreeth gets rabies. Eight. Now you would have gotten in so Roll your damage. Ways. Six. It manages to take your, your hit with no issue, but it's still down and bleeding. Hogan, your turn. Time to do a stabbing with the newly flaming sword. Twelve altogether. So I guess it'd be three. Three hits. All right. You, uh, you managed to kill it. It suddenly just starts spewing blood everywhere. Not, not a single uh, one of your party members are untouched by the splattering blood all over the place. It shrieks. It hisses. It starts to steam and turns to ash. Ooh, I take a sample of DNA for later. It's just ash. Vile. There's nothing yep. left. Even the blood that hits you just kind of like is now a powdered. It's like it's nice and soft. Oh, it's like baby powder. Hey. Oh, it's like a volcanic ash treatment. It's like That's chin- right. This is what it's like being a chinchilla. I know. Oh, if only I had fur. End of combat. Hooray. All right. Well, let's search the room and then we'll move on. I'm going to inspect the altar. All right. Roll a notice. I had eight altogether for the room. Nine for the altar. Okay. Did you look around? Question mark. Um, sure, I'll look around. Oh, can I smack my body against the walls to see if there's any secret passages? Yes, you may. Great, I'm going to do that. A two and a one. You saw nothing. Hogan finds a bottle with some liquid in it. Kreef finds a bottle with some liquid in it. Mm Mmm. Oh, boy, mystery juice. Yeah, mystery juice. (sighs) Wait, hold on. No, it's not magical. At all. At all. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Necromatic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fort as Nigel Gambitar, Blue Jackson as Leroy Jenkins, Jeremiah Freeman as Kreef, Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie, Robin Fry as Ram Man, Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage, Victoria Fish as Grey Matter, your district manager as John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, Take a left turn into Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental music, Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at WSN Podcast on Twitter. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. You can reach us at thenecromanticempire at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash time of your half-life. This has been the Radioactive Chef production. This'll probably all be cut. Doodly doo da doo.